How about one for your friend? None for him. But I will have another. All right. Where are you coming from? What? Is it like top secret or something? Yeah. More beers! Hold your horses! So, who's the bunny for? My daughter. Oh, she's gonna love it. I hope so. I don't know. I've been gone a long time. So. Where's she at now? Grandmother's. It's down the street. What are you doing here? Go on and give it to her. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh. Does your wife know you're here? No, she's out. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Shouldn't ask you stuff. Jesus like that. Christ, stupid! More fucking beer! I said I was coming! Hold on! God damn it. Okay, look. You know, um, if you don't have a place to stay tonight, I have them at my house. You know, just just think about it. Come on, come on, just, just give me a little kiss. Just give me a little kiss. Give me a little goddamn. Okay, child. Come on, give me a little kiss. Where are you looking at? Okay, child. Come on, come on. Let go of me. Give me a little fucking. Let go. Hey, buddy, why don't you take it easy? You got something to say. <laughs> I'm talking to you, asshole. Relax. Relax. Fuck. You. Hey, asshole! God damn it, man. Don't do this. Oh, man, I want to do this.
Hey. Me? Where am I? We don't know where we are. We all just woke up here one day. But we're all friends. Welcome. Friend? Don't listen to him. Please, I'm trying to talk to the new guy. fucking lie. Okay, look, if you're gonna keep it, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up before I fucking kill you! Stop it! I'm trying to read. Well, I might as well introduce you to everyone. The loud one is Hudson. He can be a little rude sometimes. Former army ranger. Started a little side business smuggling opium on his last tour in Afghanistan. One of his farmers was late to pay and well, Let's just say he doesn't worry about next year's harvest. He's a fucking liar. They couldn't prove nothing. That's about it for the talkative ones. Next to me is Diego. Navy SEAL, sniper. Six tours in Afghanistan, four in Iraq. Over 200 confirmed kills. He's a goddamn traitor. All that killing went to his head. When his CO denied his request for release from duty, he shot him. <laughs> And down there is Sims. And we don't really know much about him. But maybe he'll tell us now that you're here. Hey, Sims, the new guy is here and wants to know what you did. Leave me alone. He'll come around. And down there, we don't really know who's in there. Yeah, you know, one time, these two guards went in. They came out on stretches. And my name is Taylor, and I'm so happy you're here. What's your name, friend? Jake. Everyone, meet Jake. Jake, meet everyone. I'm gonna tell our new friend Jake what you did? Jake just got here, we don't need to talk about. He's a genuine psychopath. That's not true. The government took him away from his family when he was a little baby. Grew up in some secret assassin program? No, no, no. My childhood was perfectly normal. <laughs> He's fucked up in the head, man, I'm telling you. Likes to cut people up. Keep little pieces of them for souvenirs. Liar! They're not souvenirs. It's much deeper than that. Government turned a blind eye. Until he started picking his own targets. Okay! <laughs> Thank you, Hudson. Yes. Thank you. That's not true. I mean, it's not exactly true. So this is a military prison? It's a black site prison for special cases. People too dangerous with too many secrets. People the Department of Defense doesn't want the public to know about. Is that true? No one knows we're here. We don't even know where we are. friends well I did have one friend his name was Jeremy but he wasn't real 
I mean, he was real, but no one else could see him. You weren't allowed to have pets either. I mean, I did have this one. Pet. Quiet. Well, he was a bug. Shut up. What was that? Gunfire. Listen up! for the condition of these men. Andre! <laughs> these men are warriors! How dare you treat them without dignity! <laughs> Stupid <laughs> twat! Have you ever even seen combat? How dare you treat these men without dignity and respect! Apologies, gentlemen. Our intel failed to inform us that there was a prison here. My current mission doesn't concern you, or else I'd invite you to come play with us, as we could surely use men of your caliber. Colonel Erdy. Got yourself in a bit of a jam, mate? Hmm. I see you're staying busy. What are they calling you now? Jake? <laughs> That's so American. Six, this is Charlie. We're at the target area. Six is on his way. Well, it was good seeing you. Don't go anywhere, will you, gentlemen? Be a good show. How do you know that guy? Former British SAS turned contractor. Damn. Met him in his llama bun. What was he doing there? Recruiting. Got it. Taylor? <laughs> huh. Taylor. Yeah, Jake? Give us the keys, man. Unlock the fucking door, Taylor. Come on, let us out. I swear to God, if you don't unlock this door right fucking now... Open the doors, come on, Taylor. Come on, we'll die in here! 
bag. Fuck you! Unlock the fucking door! Come on! Please! Please! Taylor, let us out of here. Look, I'm begging you. I need to see my daughter, man. Okay. I was gonna do it anyway. But I'm keeping this. Start in the cut now. Roger that. What do you want? I'm busy, what? Colonel Irving reports he's cutting the door, sir. Good. Good. <laughs> Very good. It's beautiful. <laughs> So what do we do now? He didn't smoke us when he had the chance. I said we'd make a break for it. And why should we listen to you? Because I didn't frag a guy in my own unit. Yeah, fuck you! you fuck I'll fuck kill you! Fuck. Stop, stop, listen. Listen, I know that man out there. I've seen the aftermath of what he's capable of. If we want to have any chance of surviving this, we need to get our heads on straight and start working together. Okay? I said we do some recon and we figure we're out of here. Unless you've got any better ideas. Huh? No? Good, let's go. Fuck that. Let's go. We don't know what's in there. We're all a bunch of degenerate maniacs. For all we know, the guy in there is way worse than whatever the hell is out there. Well, if we don't let him out, he dies. So? What took you so long? Wait a minute. Ooh. I do this thing where I go around and say everyone's story and name, but I don't think we have time for that right now, so can you just tell us your name? Vasquez. Like they've taken over the whole goddamn base. No cell service. Landlines are dead. All right. I'm gonna check out the roof. I'm going too. There's an open guard post north of here, and Irving seems to be focused on a building two hundred meters south, so we should be clear. All right, let's move out. Wait, wait. What are they doing at that building two hundred meters south? Breaking into it. Why? Two hundred meters due south. Get to the point. That's a control building for a long-range drone program. We have long-range drones. Not officially. That's why the program is here, at a black site. How do you know this? I used to work here. I was a pilot. 
Look, I wanted to be a regular pilot, but... So I became a drone pilot. There is a classified long-range drone program here. Why should we trust you? You're a goddamn criminal like the rest of us. I work for a terrorist hit squadron, okay? They ordered me to bomb a children's birthday party a terrorist was attending. I refused the order, so they decided to make an example out of me. Yes, I knew it. I knew I'd get your story eventually. One of those drones is fitted with a 50 megaton nuclear bomb. <laughs> it's in the air 24-7. The control of that drone is in that building. So they're about to have control of a nuclear bomb. That's what I'm saying. Wait, but the power's out. All critical systems have backup generators. Oh, fuck this. Where is everybody? Why aren't they they're decommissioning the base? It's running on a skeleton crew. All right, but they have to have some sort of backup plan. For there this is guy. a quick response force. Well, great, let them deal with it. But we are in the middle of nowhere. They're at least two hours away. Look, if we can pull this off, I guarantee every one of us will get a pardon. I'm in. Oh, help. When this is over, I'm going back here. <laughs> what? Some of us deserve to be here for what we did. You're loco, S.A. For a full pardon, you're goddamn right, I'm in. Can I be in? I'm in. I can be in, right? What about you? My daughter is waiting for me. We get through this. You won't have to raise her like a fugitive. All right. Oh, man. Yes! This is awesome! Okay. What do we do now? Shit. What's wrong? Two of them 25 meters away. Can I see? Shut up and stay low. We've got three men down, over. Find who's ever responsible. <laughs> Copy, six. Delta out. All right, we split up. Let's go.
Big son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> you want some, don't you? I can tell. You want to do this right? Do it right, big boy. Come on, yeah. There you go. Oh, damn. Damn, you a big son of a bitch. Yeah, throw those. Throw those fists. Throw it. Throw it, big boy. You big. Big. Big and fucking dumb. really want to. Take it, you might need it. Safety is here. Do not flip it until you need it. If you see a bad guy, you point and shoot, okay? Okay. Don't do that. They'll shoot your dick off. to move faster. We're going as fast as we can, sir. Well, I want it to go even faster. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Now get to work. All right. If we switch to an alt frequency, we can communicate. Check, check. Check, check. Great. So we can talk now. There's a button at the command center. It allows another base to take control of the drones. It's just a button. They needed a physical switch to make it hacker-proof. If we push that button, a pilot at another base can't assume control of the drones. Okay, so all we gotta do is push a button. We also have to push one on the drone control panel. And we have to push it within 30 seconds of each other. Are you kidding me? All right, so we gotta fight our way into the drone control building while at the same time fighting our way into the command center building on the other side of the base push the two buttons simultaneously to prevent nuclear holocaust. Yes. People say I'm crazy. I'm not, by the way. But this is crazy. No, no, this is bullshit. I said I was going to help, but this is turning into a suicide mission. You know what? We all got into this at some point because we want to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. We wanted to make a difference. This is not about some pardon. If we don't do this, what kind of father would I be knowing that I could have done something to stop this? 
And we've all been in bad spots before. And this is what they trained us for. You guys can do whatever you want to do. I'm going to work. God damn it. All right. Hudson, Taylor, you guys find that remote switch. It's in the building down there. Better not do anything weird. Me? Go. Diego, find some high ground, give him cover. Three of us. We're gonna take that control room. Oh. I don't know yet. Actually, there's a basement access tunnel that takes us right into the control room. Judging by the fact that these guys are spending so much time cutting through it, I doubt they know anything about it. Finally. Some good news out of you. through. Killer, easy. We could use some help over here. Got him. Hate to say it. Nice shot. Tango's down. Tango's going down. Yeah, all right, move. Vasquez. Vasquez?
clear? Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Wait here. And do what? Shoot anyone that isn't us. Take your men in, secure the drone controls. I'll be right there. Fly the drones. Who are you? We're here to help. Oh, there's a remote access switch. Yes, we know, we know. Where are the drones now? Let's classify. We don't have time for that shit. Where are they? They're on autopilot. They're circling the North Atlantic. Trap to six, remote access room secured. Ready? Let's do it. for it. You did. Is that it? it? Says remote access. We got it. Hey, Roger that. We got the control room. Oh, you're welcome, by the way. What? Oh, I saved you like two times, at least. Oh. At least. Six, we have a problem. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Here they come. up here.
fly with him. He just got married. I'm sorry, man. You know, but we gotta keep moving. Yeah. As soon as that the controls. Go ahead and power the remote system. The system is on. All right. Ready to hit that button? Yep. Yeah. All right, everybody ready? Let's just get this over with, okay? Copy. Guys, we got a problem. Yeah, hold up. What the fuck is it now? The nearest base that can actually remote control the drone is McDill in Tampa. So? The drone is out of range. Come on. You gotta stop doing this to us, man. All right, um, well, can you crash it? No. The computer won't let me fly below 20,000 feet unless we're close to a landing base. All right, so then fly to Tampa. I am. But it's gonna take me like 30 minutes to get there. <sighs> All right, look, we um, we gotta hold on for 30 minutes. We are sitting fucking ducks out here. Who knows how long Diego can keep these assholes off us? God damn it! That's okay. I'm gonna go clear the rest of the building. Come. So, what are you in for? <laughs> Come on, what's the big secret? I'm serious. What did you do? I don't like to make mistakes, and I don't like talking about mistakes. <laughs> I was undercover in Kandahar. There were two powerful warlord brothers. One of them was going to have a woman who had been raped, stoned to death. So I killed him. I didn't know he was a double agent for the CIA and ISI. He had special legal protections. I was kicked out of the agency and charged with murder. Are you happy now? I'm sorry. I spent four years in solitary. I missed out on a lot of life. Here and fucking die. Like this bullshit. It's taking way too fucking long. Yeah, I hear you. That's okay, though. What the fuck are you doing? Hey, buddy. You don't mind if I take this, do you? Of course you don't. Hey, buddy. 
buddy. How old is your daughter? Six. When was the last time you saw her? She was four years old. That's a long time. Well, her mother passed away two years ago. Cancer. And I didn't know what to do. The DOD, they kept calling me out on missions, and I just kept taking them. Quit. This is the only thing that I'm good at. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I'm an armed fugitive with acute stress disorder who just killed three people now. Haven't seen my daughter in 18 months. I'm not exactly father of the year material. Wait, 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 wait. What about you? Husband, kids? <laughs> Agencies kept me busy jumping from one shithole to the next. Never had the time. You know, when someone gets plastic surgery, say, a facelift. I mean, I've never had a facelift. <laughs> I've never been under the knife, as they say. But when someone, someone say, someone like you gets a facelift, the first thing they do is carve right around the edges, all the way around, just like this, right there. Then, they take this little scraper, just like this, and the skin comes right off. You can peel the whole face in one go. The whole face. It's the craziest thing. It's the craziest thing. Who are you working for? We were recruited out of Special Operations Command. SF, SEALs, Marine Recon. Why? He wants a private army. What does he want here? An Air Force. Naughty, naughty, Colonel Irving. Who put him up to this? He works for an Afghan. Mm -hmm. A warlord. Mm -hmm. A general mm -hmm. named Khan. General Khan. The first bombs came, I was only six years old. I was at school. I'll never forget the sound. <laughs> and look on my teacher's face. That was the communists. We weren't rich, but we were well off. They took everything. Killed my father, my uncles. They killed my grandfather in front of me. That war lasted 10 years. Then the civil war started. We asked the world for help. They abandoned us. That war took one of my brothers. Then the Taliban came. He killed my mother and my sister. 
And that fucking Saudi brought the Americans. And they brought their bombs. And they killed my other brother. They've been dropping bombs on us. 30 years. And they call us the enemy. You will make them pay, baby. You will make them pay. You did good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Just let it come. Let it come. I'm gonna check the door. Good boy. Good boy. Sims, how much longer? I don't know. Maybe 15 more minutes? I do that. my drones you hear me you British motherfucker I paid you good money I want my drones I want all teams all of them hold at the entry point and wait for my order to attack go go you beautiful bastards go give me what I want I want it I want it all <laughs> Baby? get back in the car what's going on get back in the car I will shoot you, I swear to God. I don't want to, but I will. This is not the right time. I mean it. Okay, okay, fine, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you too. I love you. Get back in the car. <laughs> What 
fuck are you looking at? Sorry about Kandahar. This sounds like you did the right thing, though. I'll take right, you take left? Roger that. This guy is. What you doing, bud? <laughs> Whoever's out there. I want to talk. Six of you did all of this. Well, my idea was Jake's idea. Keep on going on and on about his daughter, how he's gonna save the world. You'd sell out your friends just like that. Fuck them. You let me live, you can do whatever the hell you want to them. Why should I trust you? You wanna get in that control room? There's an access tunnel that leads right to it. I'll tell you where it is. to our location? I don't think so, I'm hit. We're coming to you. Negative. Negative. I'm not gonna make it. It's better this way. Huh? Hey guys, we got a problem. The remote 
switch just powered down. How's it going? Almost there. Look, we're out of time. If anyone comes in, use this. But save one for yourself. Just in case, you understand? get out of here. I want you to find my daughter and tell her that when her mother died, I didn't know what to do. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I was wrong. Okay, I see that now. I need you to tell her that I am sorry and that I love her more than anything in the world. No matter what happens, your daughter's going to be proud of you. I wish you could have met her. Me too. Jakey. Loyal friends. I mean, the die that will betray you. The building is completely surrounded. I'd say that was checkmate, mate. I've got no problem with you. Lay down your weapon now. And you can live. I'll let you walk right out of here. You can see your daughter again. Low. Roger that. Good luck. All units, attack! Attack! here. So, you guys like working for this colonel?
Vasquez, you read me? Shine. You awake? You okay? Uh 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 uh, don't you fall asleep on me yet. I got plans for you. It's almost done. We'll have control of the drone soon. Ah, good! We should have control of the drones. Beautiful. Beautiful, my friend. Isn't the sky beautiful? Where are you going? I have some unfinished business to take care of. <laughs> this fucking guy. You believe this guy? I love him! I love him. You don't recognize me, do you? Jakey, where are you? Why are we playing these games? I don't have to kill you, you know. I always thought you had real talent. I can still use someone like you. Come work for me. We do a lot together.
Come on, motherfucker. What are you doing this for, Jake? Your country? You think your government cares about you? Open your eyes. You can't trust the government. The politicians are all controlled by corporations. Bought and sold, Jake. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? If we haven't been fighting and dying for our governments, then who have we been suffering for? Profiting off the blood we spill. And when do we get ours? I know you. Once upon a time, you knew my brother in Kandahar. You killed him with your bare hands to save a whore. You raised your hand against my family. I'm here to restore the order. <laughs> Whatever he suffered, you're going to suffer worse. Colonel Irving, but he's too serious. He, he comes to me, he says, General, I have an army. I want an air force. I want you to help me, blah, 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 blah. So I said to myself, go see what this crazy white man wants. Then he tells me about this secret place. So I said to myself, General, baby, what the fuck do you want with an airplane when you can have the bomb? People have been dropping bombs on me since I was a boy. <laughs> so I think to myself, as long as we have the bomb, we may as well drop it. How about New York City? Yeah. 
from my girl. The world's tearing itself apart. The government spent millions training us. Everyone's going to need an army soon, Jake. Let's cash in. You dedicated your life to two wars. What do you have to show for it? You barely even know your own family. You lasted three days in the outside world before you killed someone. This is who you are. This is all you have. If war is business, then come with me and own the company. No thanks. I'm retired. You know, I was born in the mother of all battles. It was beautiful. Wait, oh my God. Indulge me. You owe me one dead brother. He died like a coward. Begging. How dare you? No! Took you so long. What happened? You got shot. <laughs> Bad ass. Ready?